How you doing? Um, happy holidays. Happy New Year. Um, I am the ultimate B-Man. I am known not not very much likely throughout YouTube, but um, I am known by some people. But uh, I am here today to uh, respond to uh, Philip DeFranco's um, What Gives You Purpose video. He uh, made this video sometime later in the late, uh, earlier this December um, or something like that. I, I can't remember when he made it, but he made it. And um, I watched this video. I checked it out and um, I was kind of like, what? And, uh, and it's like, wow. Um, kind of inspirational and uh, very, very deep indeed. Um, basically, he talked about um, s something that gets your, <coughs> that pushes you into that makes that moves you something that keeps you going in the world something that um makes you smile makes you happy or whatnot and um he talked about that and uh it kind of moved me a little bit it kind of got to me because you know i always uh question myself about that i always ask myself when the world is the B man doing, what is he doing to to accomplish? Is there a goal or something? I mean, and I don't know. I have no idea what it is that uh, I need to do to, or what it is that I need to accomplish. But I know what makes me happy, and I know what moves me and what gets me going, and and whatnot. I mean, there there's tons of things. It keeps me going. Um, simply to put, um, I would say, in a nutshell, I would be like one of the things that keeps me going, that keeps me moving, is of course my family. For one thing, they give me purpose because my family wants to see me succeed. I mean, earlier in a cut uh, uh, few years back or so um i made i messed up i made some mistakes and you know i went to the the wrong school and i got financial stuff pounding me every day knocking on my door beating me down i got this and that emails about this and that and all sorts of stuff and uh i try to get on top of that and it does put me down it gets me down because you feel like because I'm pretty sure a lot of people feel like every day it's like how am I going to get this done how am I going to get through it this is ridiculous this is not how the world's supposed to be and that's how I used to think I mean but that's just the way things are I mean it's just life you know but uh you know and one thing's for sure, my family has always got my back. I mean, no matter what it is, what problems I have, they, I, I got their back, they got my back. That's how we work up here, you know. There's no cutting deals or nothing like that around here. It's just mostly, I watch your back, you watch mine. That type of deal, or vice versa. If you put it in reverse, I don't know. But, um, that'll be, that's one thing that gives me purpose. Another is that uh, the one thing that I always wanted to do, I mean, I think this might be at the top of the list of things that give me purpose. Then uh, the one thing that gives me real purpose is what it is that I was supposed to do, what I was meant to go to school for, was art. I love to draw. I can't stop doing it. I mean... People in when I was in high school, just to give you a little summary here, people used to tell me, dude, you need to go to school for that. 
You need to do this. There were people who drew better than me, wanted me to draw them something. Which was kind of weird, but I couldn't understand why. <clears throat> and you know, most kids I see, I used to see kids who could draw people really, really good. I mean, oh my God, ridiculous. And people who could, you know, kids who could draw stuff way better than I could. I mean, I was willing to even admit it. Uh, you know, sometimes I couldn't admit it, but. I realize this dude is better than me. He's probably has taken classes and he has actually taken the time to draw some of his stuff. That's just real. But um drawing would be the number one thing that gives me purpose, I think. I mean it would be the number one thing and for sure I I don't know if I could ever stop doing it. I refuse to stop drawing. I refuse to pick up a pencil, like it's a mechanical pencil here. I refuse to drop this pencil and be like, I can't do it anymore. Because I think it would be the only thing I can do. Because I don't. I'm not an athlete. I'm not. I mean, I'm pretty structured. I mean, I work out, keep myself in shape, which is one of the many things that I try to do and what I'm going to continue to do especially going into 2013 but um I uh you know I I don't think there's not too many other things that I feel like I want to do except for drawing and that's about it if it involved art I'd probably more than likely do it and um you know I'm trying to get a comic book started with some people I know and trying to see if I can join them on their little crusade and whatnot and trying to find ways to get myself out there you know but uh I'm working hard I mean um one thing's for sure I got these huge huge big old bill folders here and these binders that are just full of art I mean I mean, like that. I mean, just just full of art and whatnot. Uh, here's one, and there's another over here that has my comic. It's about this this thick. It's a comic book that thick. It's like a freaking dictionary right now. That's what it looks like. And I have another one that has pictures in it too. But um, I'm trying to work towards that, and I'm trying to get get there you know what I'm saying um, earlier this year I decided to do something different with my art I tried to uh, put it on shirts not that I'm trying to sell shirts anytime soon but you know I made this uh, um, I got it upside down but I made this see I think this is this is the one shirt I might even wear this today, but um, this is the one that's one out of the uh, three shirts I made earlier this year. I had made them. I didn't make them. I didn't paint that on this shirt, but I did draw the picture. And just seeing that I'm wearing my own stuff puts a smile on my face. I'm like, I did this. I did that. Even though the guy who detailed and stenciled and uh you know airbrushed it on the shirt it's still my picture you know what i'm saying and i'm not mad at that not at all and you know and i give props to that i mean i wish i knew how to do it. i mean i do know how to do it but i just ain't got the money and whatnot to to go in and do it maybe one day sometime down in the future but um yeah, I think one thing that gives me purpose is art, and I don't think I'll ever throw that away. I think it's what some people call a gift, I guess. I mean, they want to, I mean, I don't know. I try not to say it like that because it makes it seem like, oh my god, you super, super special. And I mean, but other people go out there and do it. I mean, 
I'm not the only guy who likes to draw and likes to do things, you know, because it's kind of silly to just be like, you're the one guy that can do this. I mean, I don't want to feel like it, like I'm the one. I'm not Neo. I'm not. Can't save the Matrix. Sorry. Um, but, uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, I think art may be the only one thing that gives me purpose. Especially going into 2013. Throughout 2012, I tried to, uh, you know, I've been through rough stuff. You know, I, I mean, stuff that hit me so hard, I couldn't, I, I couldn't focus. I almost thought of, you know, doing un, unreasonable things. But I could never do it. I could never go down that path. I refused. The B-Man refused. So, and another thing that got me going, that kept me going is doing YouTube videos and whatnot and playing video games for all the viewers out there who want somebody different, who want somebody new to on the scene. So, that's the, that's another thing that might, that really also gave me purpose, you know, I feel like I got my own little show or something like that when, when I really don't, I mean, as you can see, this is being done on a regular camera and the background is not all cool and stuff, but, you know, maybe one day it might get to that, but I don't know. Um, but like I said, uh, art is the one thing that keeps me going, that keeps me moving. Um, and my family and whatnot, and my mom, she she's the reason why I'm in art anyway. She kind of, when I was a little kid, she taught me how to draw and whatnot, and she was like, I was like, one day I was like, Mama, Teach me how to draw Godzilla. Godzilla is one of my favorite all-time best movie monsters of all time, period. Nobody can beat him. Um, but she taught me how to draw Godzilla. I mean, even though it wasn't the best, she did her best, and I imitated it. And I kept trying to do better and better and make it look look wild and crazy. But Godzilla, make Godzilla look even more realistic. As a matter of fact, there's a picture here I drew earlier this year. If I can find it, if I can find it, I don't know. I know you're in here somewhere, man. Stop tripping. I'm on camera. I'm on camera. I don't want to waste these people's time, you know. You know, I kind of am. I'm sorry, folks. Should be more prepared. Come on, man. He's hiding. He's shy. Somewhere in here. Here it is. This. If you can, if you can see that, that's how good I got. And he used to be just a little bubble with spikes on his back and that stuff. But um, yeah. That's that. You know, I think that's uh, that's what I think that ultimately, family, my art. And doing these YouTube videos. I mean, one of the most mainly things that I want to do is just have fun. I mean, with all the dread and dark stuff that comes in and out, especially all the stuff that's happened in 2013 with all the blah, blah, blah. And, and I don't even want to bring it up. So I don't want to bring you guys down. I want to bring you up. And um, if... Um, if... If anybody's watched this video, I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you liked it. Um, Philly D, uh, Happy New Year's to you. Happy holidays. Happy blah blah blah. Whatever. If you if you ever watch this video, but um, I think that's just uh, just about it. I think that'll do for me. But um, one thing's for sure, if I had to say anything motivational, let's say. Find you something that gets you going, like Philly D said in his video. Um, just basically find something that moves you. It doesn't even have to be anything. It could be apples, anything. Apples, just apples. For some dumb reason, apples make you happy. You know, <laughs> I don't know. I just went random. Uh, but um, yeah, just find something that moves you, something that keeps you going. I think I'm gonna keep on doing what I'm doing now. Till I get so good 
then I'm gonna make my jaw drop because for right now I haven't done that yet but once I accomplished it I feel like I've done something here even if I don't get paid to do it I've accomplished something I wanted to do not what everybody wanted me to do or wanted to see me do but I'll accomplish something but other than that it's your boy the ultimate b-man and if you're one of my subscribers or whatnot you'll probably see another couple of my other videos because I got other videos in plan but anyways other than that I'm not trying to promote anything or me or stuff I'm just saying because basically I will see you guys next time if you're ever around if you ever view stuff but uh anyways I'm out I'm done peace I'm, I gotta go all right Later.